So hello students, we are back with our video. So today we are going to study an English subject that is chapter number 1. You might have seen in your chapter the last pages there is a poem. Now for this year your pattern goes this way. You have a chapter, in that chapter you have a poem. And in every, mostly every chapter you have this pattern. So how it goes, first you have the chapter, the whole chapter, the textual exercise, the poem and then the poems exercise, whatever it is, whether it is a question answers or whether it is a fill in the blanks or so. So this is the pattern of your chapters for this year. So today from the first chapter that is who did Patrick's homework, we are going to study, learn the poem A House A Home. So now I am going to explain you the poem and the rest of the exercise of the chapter. So hello students, now I am going to explain you what is the difference between a house and home. What is the name of the poem? The name of the poem is A House A Home. When we listen to A House A Home, you think both are the same. But now we need to understand the poet who is Lauren M. Halley. The poet's name is Lauren M. Halley. So what he is trying to tell us, what is the difference between the house and a home? So what is a house? It's bricks and stones and woods that hard. Some window glass and perhaps a yard. It eaves and chimneys and tiles and floors and stucco and roof and lot of doors. Now what is the meaning of a house? A house means when we have the bricks and the stone, we are building up the furniture, we are building up the cupboards, we are building up our stucco and the roof, the roof or the cemented one. Or we are building up many furnitures in at our home to make it look beautiful. We have the kitchens, we have the chimneys at our home. So that is a house. Do you think it is enough for us? By looking at a home, it will be beautiful. So this is a house for us where we build up the materialistic thing. What is a home? Now home is loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish act and kindly sharing and show your loved ones you are always caring. Now when it is a home, it is a loving family which we are having. It is our father, our mother, sisters and brothers which we have. It is always an unselfish act. We don't act selfishly there. We are always giving. We are always helping. We are sharing our love with the people we live in, in the family. So that is a home. So now you understand what is the difference between a house and a home? The house means the materialistic things which we have made. And a home means which, in which we have people who we love. So this is the poet Lauren and Harry is trying to make us understand. We people think money, the materialistic things which we have, that is enough for us to live a happy life. No. The people in which we, with which whom we are living, they are the ones we need for a happy life. Not only the materialistic thing. Now this is the uh, related to the poem. The working with the poem means this is the exercise related to the poem. Do you agree with the poet says? Talk to your partner, complete this sentence. Now this is the sentences which you have to do by your own. You can write what you feel about a house or a home. Now complete this sentence about your house, your home. What do you feel about your house and your home? That is my house is, write your own. The best thing about my home is, that also you have to write by your own. So this poem is for memorization. You have to memorize this poem. This will come in the exam. So better memorize this from now. And this was all about the poem A House and a Home. So I hope you all have understand. So you have to memorize this poem and write down in your textbook itself. Thank you.